Hello Nubia. Today we're going to discuss aquatory planetary intelligence, thermodynamic load control. We're going to do so by discussing a hot water preheater system that utilizes thermal energy in the attic and in this case an auxiliary feed of thermal energy and a thermal battery. And we're going to take a look at the dynamics of this structure and how to use fluids to save anywhere from 17 to 30 percent on your energy usage, but your effective energy utilization utilizing the hot water preheater system basically cascades three times the energy savings and carbon offsets back into the grid than anything you can use. Okay, we are a little after three in the afternoon and you can see that the blue indicator here, right there, is the attic internal temperature where this loop right here is. Okay. 99 degrees is the temperature where this loop is right here. And 121 is in green, happens to be the uh, greenhouse temperature up in the uh, high area. Uh, that's another deal right there. Let's pull back here a second. This is a hot water preheater configuration. Okay. Now, this right here is the auxiliary valve. This right here is the primary valve that I use for my first attic loop. This right here is the second valve that I use to energize the thermal energy loop. Now, it all starts with the cold water source here coming in and coming into this T area right here. This T area, because I'm engaging the system, okay, if I want to bypass it, I would do this. Engaging the system is forcing water up this one-way valve into one side of this attic loop and back in here. And then it comes up after picking up thermal energy in the attic, it comes up, routes through here, comes in and goes into the cold water source for the hot water tank. Now, that alone, that right there, that loop right there, engaged with just this movement twice a year saves as much as 17 percent overall on the electric bill at this home okay now to engage an auxiliary feed which is not just that loop right there but this loop right here okay combines everything and brings it in you can see the cold water source that would normally just go straight to the hot water tank and then the hot water tank would have to pick up the entire load it is assisted by these water antenna circuits that are in the attic and in the thermal battery and basically it interjects energy heat energy in here passively autonomously no pumps nothing like that just simply the autonomous movement and purposeful movement of water aquatic planetary intelligence like a circuit through mass.